Hey y'all, how y'all doing? All right, so um, same day, Tuesday. Um, I just, I think my video for the breakfast vlog is uploading now. I, you guys probably won't see this video till tomorrow, but um, yeah. So as promised, I am going to do a. Well, I ain't really promised, but you know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a dinner vlog. We're gonna do chicken and biscuits today, so we're gonna get started. All right, the only thing we're gonna do right now is um, get the chicken going. I'm gonna season up the water and everything, and then probably about an hour, an hour from now or so, I will um, come back and, you know, mix everything up and get it in the oven. All right, so hold on a second. All right, y'all, so let me, because I still got breakfast dishes everywhere right now, so let's try and get that out of the way. <sighs> All right. All right, so we got our, um, our pie chicken that we're going to season up. All right, so we're going to do onion powder. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. And because we're not doing, um, like, rice or anything, I can put every seasoning under the sun in this. <laughs> All right. Sometimes I think it's a waste just because... I'm just going to pour it out later, but, you know, it does make the um, chicken taste good. So, yeah, a cap full of everything, pretty much. So, I did a cap full of onion powder, a cap full of Italian seasoning. I'm going to do... I'm going to do garlic powder. Garlic powder next. Um, do this. This is a cap full of lemon pepper. We're going to do a cap full of steak seasoning. Do a cap full of Larry's season salt. Okay. Um, we're gonna do a cap full of well, I don't really do a cap full, I just sprinkle it in there as if it's a cap full. Yeah. And do that, and we're gonna do a packet of sassone. Okay, we're gonna do some smoking seeds, sweet and smoky seasoning mix. I'm going to do a cap full of that. Ooh, y'all. I can't remember if this is my last, last, um, sweet and smoky or not. I don't know. Then I got some smokehouse maple. And I think that's all I'm going to add, y'all. We did lemon pepper. I had... Uh, Cajun seasoning, but no one Brian, he probably used it all. So I'm gonna have to buy more of that whenever I see it. But that's it, y'all. That's what we're doing for seasonings. I know it, it, it's a lot, y'all, <laughs> but it's gonna be good. So that's it for seasonings. I'm gonna put it on the stove and let it uh, boil for an hour. I'm gonna set it for an hour and 25 minutes. 
the 25 minutes is for, you know, for it to get hot and ready to boil. And then from there, it'll boil the hour that it needs to. So, yep. Alright, y'all. So, that's what we're going to do. I will come back when the chicken is pretty much done. Alright. Hey y'all, alright, I'm back. <clears throat> so it's been about an hour and a half. I think when I last saw y'all, it was 2.30 and it is now 4 o'clock. So our chicken is boiled, cut up, and tastes amazing y'all. Like the seasoning got into the meat and it's really good. So... We're doing chicken and biscuits, and I have my biscuits. I need to cut them up still. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to get our ingredients out. That's going to get mixed up. All right. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> cut all these biscuits into fours. Yeah, I'm cutting on the counter, y'all. But I'm trying to not let the knife, like, hit the counter, though. So. Alright. So then we're just gonna rip the biscuit in half again. Creates more biscuits. Because I find that the fourth, these little pieces, become really big. So, it's just better when they're broken up into smaller pieces. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Kids are upstairs in the room. This is the only me time I get, y'all, so it's important to me that they stay in the room at least till dad gets home. Alright, y'all, so y'all see me make this a ton of times. If y'all been a subscriber since literally the beginning I've been on here for two years now and I've made this plenty of times I've made this by myself I made this with Natalie um, so y'all probably already get what, what I'm about to do if you've seen this um, but I got French onion dip I got some cheese um, And some cream of chicken soup and that's all we're gonna do for that so I want let me tell y'all something so I wanted to make this last week y'all but when I went to the store I forgot the French onion dip my brain said grab the cream of chicken soup but not the French onion dip so this is how I know this is how I knew it wasn't meant for me to make this dish <laughs> Okay, um, this, 
grab the wrong can. I'm glad I caught that. Um, this. I grabbed this can. It was fat free. And I'm like, no. So that was a sign right there that I, it wasn't meant for it to be. Because, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff in. I'm doing one family pack of the French onion dip. And then I'm doing a small pack and then I'm doing two small cans of cream of chicken soup. I'm going to grate some cheese up, put it in here, mix it up and put it in the oven. But I'll probably come back before I put it in the oven, okay? Alright, stay tuned. Alright y'all. So I mixed all the ingredients up, I put it in the pan, and now it's about to go in the oven for 35 Mommy, minutes. Go to the bathroom. Y'all come down. Y'all supposed to be upstairs. Go. Alright y'all, so 35 minutes in the oven and I will come back when it is cooked and done. Alright, stay tuned. Alright y'all, so here we are 35 minutes later. It is 10 to 5 and we are done with our food. Our food is done. <clears throat> and that's it y'all. You just let it bake for... 35 minutes at 400 degree oven. I think the recipe originally called it for 350, but I do 400 and it does fine. But that's it to this video, y'all. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys tomorrow for another video. I think tomorrow we're going to do goulash. So stay tuned for that. All right, y'all. I love y'all as always, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.